Precision X overclocking up next. Overclocking? I love to do software how-tos. Um, that's always been a thing of mine. I like to overclock. I'm a hobbyist, and I like to mod stuff. So that being said, if you do overclock your graphics card, it could fail. You could be out on warranty, and I am not saying for you to go overclock your GPU. But if you decide to, this is very simple software. I'm going to put a link in the description underneath, and I'm going to show you the basics of using it. <clears throat> I actually have switched over from this from my other software. Um, it's pretty simple, and I got it so that it can load up when Windows starts. Generally, I don't need to overclock my GPU. My frame rates are great without it. Um, it's kind of just a fun thing to do and you talk to your friends and say look at my score You know for benchmarking or look at how many frame rates. I'm getting you know playing BF4 or uh, Warframe or what have you one of those more intense FPS games all right Basically, here's what it looks like at the startup and I'm gonna explain something too. in your bios your Video cards cannot go past a certain voltage point for the most part. Manufacturers set them to what they consider to be a safe guideline. So unless you manipulate your BIOS or flash them, you are not going to be able to go past that safe point and get an extreme overclock. That being said, this is the power target up here. We're going to take that right up to 100, 128%. And yeah, it's just clicking your mouse on the lever, the little button thingy here, and dragging it up. The temp target, we're not going to worry about that. It doesn't even come into play. But what we are going to worry about is the GPU offset. This is for how fast your GPU is moving. And it's an offset from your normal uh, megahertz. So say your GPU is doing 1100 megahertz, this adds to that 1100 megahertz, okay? Uh, so what I want you to do here, or what you could do here, is you could actually take this up from where it normally is to about 50 megahertz to start off with. Then what you do is you go down here and you hit apply, run your benchmarks, and see if it's stable. Now if it is, you can move on to 100 megahertz. Right here, drag this up. Oh, I went too far. You can use the arrow keys, by the way, to get it. The one thing about this is the arrow keys, once you're in a certain area, work better. So then benchmark it again using probably Heaven Benchmark, which uh, you've seen that in another video of mine at 100 megahertz. If you're still good, you might want to go look at your temps. Watch your temps while you're overclocking. And instead of having it on auto, you might want to go into the fan curve. Uh, take a good look at my fan curve. Because for pretty heavy overclocking with the stock BIOS, this is the fan curve that I use. And you'll see here at 30 Celsius, this is a Celsius bar. And this is the RPMs bar, percent of RPMs. All right, basically you could take these little things and move them around by clicking on them and dragging them, all right, and setting them where you want. I want mine at 30 Celsius, 40% use of the fan, and it goes from there, okay? Then when you're done, go to the bottom, there'll be an OK, and just hit OK. That's your fan curve. 
Now, once you get this zoned in to where you want it and you're stable, you can start worrying about the memory. For me, it's 150 megahertz is my offset. With the memory, you're probably going to want to go up like 50 at a time. And then if it starts lowering your numbers in your benchmarks, go down 25 because you want to give it that breathing space. So for me, I believe I have my memory set to, yeah, I believe, 400. Let me get it down there. And that's my stable overclock, uh, which I noticed a great performance boost. And once you've done this and you've passed your benchmarks and you feel that this is a very stable overclock, by the way, you keep hitting apply once you have a good overclock. You go up to startup and you can click this. It'll turn like a bluish green. That means when Windows starts up, this overclock will start with your Windows. So that's about how simple it is to use this uh, EVGA Precision X. Now remember, if you don't have an EVGA card, it still works. For most cards, it does. You might be asking, what kind of gain can I get from overclocking? Well, this is a stock GPU with an overclocked processor at 10756, not a bad score. Um, definitely can play games. And this would be an overclock score, 11,804. Quite a gain just from overclocking your GPU. And using the fan speed, it could be very stable.